Land Between the Lakes National Recreation Area is a 170,000 acre chunk of land nestled between Lake Barkley and the Kentucky Lake, close to the borders of Kentucky, Tennessee, Missouri and Illinois. The area is fantastic for getting away from it all, with large areas of undeveloped land ripe for camping and exploring. Since going to Land Between the Lakes to view the total eclipse in August, I've been itching to go back. It's an easy 4 hour drive from home and there's dispersed camping as well as campgrounds with facilities to allow for a comfortable stay. The peninsula is only about 7 miles wide and you can get to it from Kentucky by crossing one of three bridges. The bridge across Lake Barkley has recently been replaced. The old bridge to the left was demolished just days after our visit. There it goes. Having brought our trailers, Wes and I were able to set up camp and go back out later. Wes brought his homemade overlanding trailer. He has a lot of things planned for the camper, but after about six months of work, it is finally in a place where he can use it properly. The setup of his camper takes about the same amount of time as my rooftop tent. Once he has lifted the roof, he has two extra beds on top, allowing him and his family of five plenty of room to sleep. We were the first to arrive and had plenty of time, so we decided to go explore the local roads and attractions. This area of the country used to be home to vast herds of elk and bison, with up to 70 million bison at their peak. Today you can find about 50 of each at the Elk and Bison Prairie at Land Between the Lakes. Bison are North America's largest land animal, weighing in at over 2,000 pounds, which makes them very impressive. I had never seen one before, and it was great to be able to drive right past them. Saturday morning had a surprisingly cold start. I was not expecting snow in April. We met up with Steve, who drives this amazing four-wheel drive van that he calls the Lunchbox. Steve knows the area very well and had planned out a route down some of the unmaintained forest roads. Unfortunately, due to the youth turkey hunt, all of the unmaintained 300 roads were closed. My wife, Elizabeth, was on the point of getting hangry. So we broke off for lunch with Sean and Lindsay, while the rest of the group went on directly to Turkey Bay OHV Park. While we were exploring the perimeter trail of the park, Steve was leading the groups through more and more difficult obstacles.
finally got himself into something a little too tight, leaving with a little rock rash. Luckily, that's what he built his rig for, and it's all about having some fun. Oh, he's crunching. Oh, jeez. That happened earlier. Steve's group wasn't the only one to have some fun. We found ourselves some challenges too. Oh, scraped it. Yeah, I'm ready to head out. <laughs> That lasted so long. <laughs> up our day on the trails with a little hill climb that got us lifting wheels. Maybe a little more than we were comfortable with, but it was all good fun. able to get some good wheeling in despite the road closures and it ended the day with good food, something that's becoming a common theme. We'll definitely be back when the roads are open and it's a little warmer. <laughs>